All right, everyone, time for today's first New Tech exclusive, laughing a little bit about the Democrats and their mythology of, of, of election uh, shenanigans. It's funny because the real shenanigans in the 2020 election were regards uh, to fraud. Uh, those were the real ones, and we've still got audits going on. Of course, you're not going to find anything with those audits, nothing that can be uh, actually nailed down as authentic enough election fraud that Trump actually won. He'll be reinstalled by August and all this other pipe dream bullshit. But, by the way, that's a distraction. The Democrats are literally luring you with that stuff to keep you from knocking on doors literally right now. And what I've suggested is take over the local and state governments. They outsizedly control the elections. Now, the, the, the federal level is taken care of. Joe Manchin and, and Kirsten Cinema exist, so you don't have to worry about the filibuster going away, so you don't have to worry about the For the People Act bullshit from the Dems. They're not going to successfully federalize the election. Right now, they're shooting themselves in the foot. Ignore them at the federal level and campaign. The only, the only federal level positions you should be looking at are the ones that are up for re-election, especially in the Senate, uh, and then mainly local. Take over your mayor's office, take over your city council, kick out the old housing authority, and get people in there that'll let you make an organic front yard garden. Get rid of the school uh, uh, boards. All of them seem to be going woke. Kick them out. This is happening in multiple states. You had people arrested the other day in Virginia for protesting critical race theory. Something like 1,600 people showed up to comment. Then they decided to end it early. It turned into a squabble. Several people were arrested. Fight back. Do what you need to do. But don't get distracted by QAnon retard bullshit. Anyway, the Democrats won't let it go. Biden has. If you look at the last 48 hours of tweets, for instance, this is a great way to do it because Twitter's a way in which these vapid politicians reach out to large groups of people for free. So they prefer it to actually campaign ads and things. If you look at Biden... 48 hours ago, he's, well, the right to vote, we need to protect the right to vote. The Republicans, man, they're trying to keep corn pop from voting and, and all that retarded bullshit. It's not true, but he was yammering about it. As soon as this bill failed, which was a foregone conclusion to anyone with two fucking working firing neurons, he pivoted. Now it's all about gun control. Well, there's gun crime. We need to ban the AR-15. There's gun crime. We need to go after gun dealers that br somehow break the law. How are you supposed to do that when you have to do a background check? <laughs> I, I don't understand. They keep meticulous notes for legal reasons. Have you ever even been to a gun shop, Joe? Don't answer that because we know the answer is strictly no. Probably if he tried to fire a gun, it'd blow up in his hands because he's just so fucking retarded. But none of the other Democrats have pivoted. Bernie, although he's still talking about, you know, student loan debt and stuff. Schumer does too. Pelosi and Warren, all the other main Democrats are still yammering about the For the People Act and pledging we're going to bring it back before the Senate for more discussion. You're not going to get it passed, though. The Democrats have walked into a trap that they so often have walked into before. You've got the capability. You don't have a bulletproof majority in the Senate, but you've got the House, you've got the presidency, asterisk administration, You've got a Supreme Court that's balanced, four liberal justices, four conservatives, and a swing justice, which is what I would label Kavanaugh at this point. Um, you've got the possibility, of, therefore, of getting things through there. And you've got a Senate that's 50-50. For some purposes, that's enough to carry it with Kamala as the tiebreaker. For other purposes, of course, there can be a filibuster. But you've got Republicans that are willing to make deals with you about basically everything under the sun. They were willing to cut us a, a infrastructure deal. It was a massive low ball that wasn't going to pass, but you could have passed it. You could probably address kicking the can down the road on uh, um, um, uh, eviction moratoriums. I guess Biden's going to try to use executive action on that again, which is insane, um, on, on student debt payments, on a million things. You could probably find enough common ground to scrape together the majority votes in the Senate that you need if you were willing to negotiate. The problem, though, is twofold. Number one, they've trapped themselves into a few wedge issues they're never going to get past filibuster stage. Guns and election uh, shenanigans. Because the Republicans are busy. Mitch McConnell and all the other Republicans on the federal level are sitting there chuckling to themselves because the state-level Republicans are all taking drastic action right now to fortify the elections against for, uh, shenanigans in 2022. The Dems aren't. The Dems aren't doing anything. They're, they're waiting for the federal government to solve it for them. Oh, God, is that a goddamn big mistake, by the way, for the Democrats? Uh, and number two, fixated on these, these issues that simply can't get passed to the exclusion of things that could. 
Well, that's going to take some attrition. All the leftists want you to pass reparations and student loan debt forgiveness and stuff. And it's DOA, but they're not even trying. They're not even attempting to get that through the Senate. What do you think after the midterms, the worst case scenario for the Democrats is they've lost the House, they've lost any possibility in the Senate, and they're locked down completely. Biden will have been a literal do-nothing president from day one that he was in office, by the way, if that happens. Best thing for us, really. The worst, uh, best case scenario is that they uh, somehow manage to keep hold of what they've got in the Senate. I wouldn't say gain seats, but there's still the 50-50 deadlock. Uh, well, then there's still the filibuster to worry about. And Mitch McConnell might be ancient as the sands of time. Like <laughs> He probably won't be running the show for the Senate majority uh, at that point anyway, but you know, the Senate will still be Republicans. And it looks like the America First Republicans, despite the fact that they fight an uphill battle by being constantly harassed and abused by big tech, are still coming out on top two out of three times. On the Democratic side, you've got a bunch of far leftists that are making things difficult as well for like the Bidenists. Because anytime there's negotiations, in order to get it out of committee with all the leftoids there in the Senate, like Bernie, uh, you have to throw a bunch of far left shit in it that you then have to jettison the second it gets out in order to parlay with the Republicans which means that they can do a big ask too and they can actually drag the democrats way out of their comfort zone and sometimes it looks like it wouldn't even get through even if they only needed fifty votes for something they might not get all the democrats to vote for it because getting joe manchin and bernie sanders to vote the same way on certain issues is almost impossible by the way technically guns would be something they'd be slightly closer together on um, the democrats refuse to let go of the myth that there's systemic voter suppression going on, but requiring ID to vote's not suppression. And the average American citizen supports a voter ID law. 80% support voter ID. I don't understand the strategy behind the Democrats pushing the lie that we need to federalize the election system. It's just not necessary. This is something on which even a large plurality of Democrats agree. So they're basically just wasting their time. I think they know they can't get anything accomplished, so it's basically just grandstanding and sloganeering. That's about all. Peace out.